This is our new all digital solid state relay. 48 volt, 36 volt, and 24 volt digital battery controller. And we're going to be using this today with our Variac to simulate incoming power. I'm going to turn off the lights here so you can see the display a little better. And uh, right now it's just cycling between 50.3 and 50.5 volts. Right now the battery is at 50.4. And as the charge goes up, it will turn the relay on. As the charge goes down, we'll turn the relay off. We have this on off. Now I have this tight. There's not a lot of voltage in between 50.3 and 50.5. So this is going to be cycling quite quickly. And this is just for demonstration purposes. In reality, we'd set this up quite a bit differently. While I got the lights off, I'm going to teach you how to use the controller or program it. So let's teach you how to program the controller. There's these two little buttons called set and enter. The enter is on the right and the set is on the left. The first thing we'll do, whether you have a 24, 36, or 48 volt power need is we're going to hold down the enter button until we go into the mode. There's four modes here. P1, P2, P3, P4. And you can see they keep going in a circle until you stop at one of them. And then you press enter and enter P1 mode. P1 is real important. The first line of code is 000. You go through the code by pressing the set button on the left. So that's line one. Line two of code needs to be set to 0001. That gives you a one second delay to the relay, which actually is what activates it on mode P3. So this must be at 0001. D9 is the display delay. That means after 9 minutes the display at setting D3 turns off. So this is all good. When we go back to zeros and it's not flashing, we can hold the enter key, go to the P mode, go to P3, hit the enter key again, and enter P3 mode. Now to program P3 for 48 volts. Uh, let me show you real quickly what the 48 volt mode looks like. And this is what we're going to be shooting for. That's going to be the high 57.6, 55.2. Do not use this is a an adjuster for setting voltages that aren't quite as accurate as you'd like. They might not match your machine or your device. And that, anyhow, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to turn the lights back off. And let's go ahead and program for the true 48 volt mode. This is just for demonstration. Again, let's go for a little more demonstration. And let's go into programming mode for 48 volt. Hold down the enter key for a few seconds. We're in P3. Let's just confirm that. Alright, now we're going to hold down the set key. Or actually, we're going to just going to snap the set key. And that's going to be flashing. 50 is good on that value. Snap the set key again. Go to the second line of, or the second digit in the first line of code. fifty seven point six I'm going to snap the set key again and go to line two of the code line two of the code is this 
second line down here. See there's codes and line codes. This one has to be set to 55. Point two. You got to pass the nine and go back to the two. The second line of code, or the third line of code here, is just for variable voltages. If this voltage device doesn't match your main power meter, you can change this up or down a few points so it matches your power meter. Usually this is right on the money. These are very accurate. DL9 is a confirmation that you got a 9 second display delay. And you must keep this on the low. That L stands for low. If you accidentally go into high, it reverses the entire meter. In other words, your controller will work backwards. It's going to work to overcharge the battery. And when it's undercharged, it's going to allow it to undercharge even worse. So this is one of the worst mistakes you could make is keep this in H mode. This has to be in L mode. Okay, we're going to go back. That little click you heard was the one second delay we set up in P1. Okay, that concludes 48 volt programming. So, I'll turn the lights back on. Okay, we're going to be programming for 36 volts. And what we're going to go for is 43.2 in the first line of code, ABC, 41.4 in the second line of code, DEF, and it says we must use a 36 volt rated solenoid. We also have the battery configured for 36 volt, so we're only using three batteries, 12 volt, that's 36 volts. And let's zoom into the programmer. And I'm going to go turn the light off. And uh, let's go ahead and program this. Now, one of the quirky things about this programmer, I'll show you. You should actually be at a higher setting, like in the 50s. I'll tell you why. If we have it in the 40s or in the 30s on the second mode, we're not going to be able to get to the 3. It's locked out. So that's one of the quirky things you have to learn. Is let's go ahead and take this programmer And the first one, let's take it to a, a 50 number. So we're going to take it to 50. And just let's cut through the program. Okay, now the goal here is to get to these settings. So let's go ahead and try it. We're going to bypass this 50 line. And we're going to go right for the second line of code. And now it lets us go to 4, because we want to be at 41.1. 41. So we kind of have to do this backwards. Forty-one point four is the second line of code. So we're going to go back all the way around, make sure this is on low, to the first line of code. Now we're going to change our 50 to a 4. And that's where we want to be. We want to be at 50, or at 43.2. The second line of code at 41.4. This we leave at all zeros. This is our fine voltage adjustment. 
nine second delay for the display and we want to be on the low so the solar unit is cycling properly turning off and on instead of on and off which gives the high and low settings meaning don't, don't ever reverse this L it's got to be on low okay this is the uh, 24 volt setup we change this to 24 volt we got two 12 volt batteries uh, 24 volt relay let's zoom in on the power meter and turn off the lights so we can watch it work I'm going to be turning the variac we're going to be looking for 28.8 or higher there it goes and it turns off very suddenly because the relay is drawing power in the very exit. It's a very small very act. It's only a 10 amp. So it's going to keep the voltage between 28.8 and 27.6. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the very act. I'm just turning it up and down like that. Okay, 